Okay, then. All right, so what's going on here? We got the relic, Bingra Bob. The relic fragment. Human jungle air was never such a relief. What a tear was that stuff? Some kind of noxious, nox, blah, 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 some kind of noxious gas. That much is clear. That stone was never meant to leave this place. Not without a fight, anyway. Speaking of the stone, let me have a look. The time stone. Hmm. Doesn't look like much of a compass. Yes, it holds the power to lead us to the temple of Koli Sumash. I thought it said smash at first. I'm gonna go to the Smash Community's temple. How does it work? It likely warms or brightens as we near our destination. Something of that sort. Why don't you try moving about with it? <laughs> go quicker, Monroe. Left, left. Wait. There's a thing that's going on with the stone here? Try jumping? No luck. At least it's good exercise. Oh, I thought that he was like riding around with it or something for a second. This is ridiculous. I can't get it to do anything. What are we doing here in the heart of this stinking jungle? An ocean away from the war that ravages our continent. We best return and leave this all behind us. I'm not going anywhere until we figure out how to use this. Stop. If we fight amongst ourselves, we'll only aid the necromancer. Remember what brought us here. Unless we stop those who would misuse the aspects, not one of us is safe. A mysterious voice, hmm? If the aspects fall into the wrong hands, no one in all of Minecraftia, I mean Terraziel, is safe. That's right, Garrick. I didn't say that. No, but if you had, I would consider you wise. Where's that coming from? The- The stone! It's a stone! <laughs> ah, yes, the stone speaks! Ah, oh, the compass, is it? This is my stone voice now. Tell us, by what name should we know you? First, answer me this, this riddle three. I mean, uh, <laughs> who sent you to me? The Order of Eternals. What proof have you of this? I serve as their ambassador, for the moment. The priestess and I, we carry their seal. Indeed you do. Well, then you may call me Guide. Sometimes I'm also known as Tim, but you can call me Guide for now, as it seems that is the part I have to play in your story. Speak then, Guide. Where will we find the Trial of the Soul? The Temple of Koli Sumash. Return to the eastern shores of this land. The trial you seek can only be reached by the sea. You will need to find a ship. Finally, I think I'm starting to like this guide. And what then? Ah, such impatience. What use would you have of that knowledge now? Besides, I'm wary. All that excitement in the temple was rather draining. Yes, I think I shall rest. When will you speak to us again? When it is needed! Now make haste! This necromancer you fear sounds quite close to accomplishing his goal. Well, we have what we came here for, at least for now. We should we should return to Izzin's Hope. Very well, we can skirt the southern edge of the weld. It's safer that way. Then let's gather our things and be off. Irving, just remember what your father said. Just remember the freaking wise words of Uncle Ben to Spider-Man. With three minutes comes great rice. I think I already made that joke during this playthrough, but I don't care. We aren't tip- I know, I know. Like a snake in a wicker basket. Alright. Chapter 15, Koli Sumash. Um, that'll be our last chapter that we do this session, though. But we will be doing things in the menu here and whatnot. Ah, in the Temple of Relic, they find a group of cultists led by a strange reanimated warrior named Meow. <laughs> they steal the, steal the relic and make their escape, finding out shortly after that the stone they've stolen speaks. It instructs them that they must return to their ship and depart, as the Trial of Soul is somewhere in the ocean. They make the journey, careful to be wary of the stone as Al Alistair had warned. Now setting sail, they are given direction by the stone, who holds their who holds their lives in its confidence. So we have to be wary of that stone. That stone might set us down the wrong path. We don't want it to freaking set us down the path of, I don't know, what's evil. Uh, OnlyFans. Uh, assuming Ford doesn't shipwreck them along the way, they're headed to deep waters. Okay. Well, now that we've done absolutely everything possible without further instruction, I was wondering if you've received any more wisdom from your magical rock. Not a word. Fantastic. It's more, more than likely we're meant to be on the other side of the continent, when instead we've been off in this wild cockatrice chase. I think I'm starting to see why your father warned us about this guide. Ah, such doubt! When I've done nothing but assist you! And no, you haven't done everything possible. As far as I can tell, we're still anchored. How does it know that? At any rate, I think we would benefit from more instruction right about now. As you wish. 
Your destination lies in the heart of the shimmering mists. Mmm, spooky. I'm just now noticing how much freaking jewelry Monroe has, Jeebus. Shimmering mists? Your friend is quite attentive. Ford, do you know this place? I've known a few captains who set out for it, but not any I've seen again. I'd always thought they'd gone a little sea crazy, those poor crews. That's dangerous. I've only heard stories, but I'd say so from the sound of them. High winds, low visibility, sharp volcanic rocks. How much reason to go there in the first place? I don't know, Irving. It sounds like a trap. Please! What good would it do me to sink to the bottom of the ocean for the rest of eternity? You seemed happy enough to sit in that temple for gods know how long. Happy may not be the most accurate description. You know, it sounds frightening, but we've been through worse. Besides, what choice do we have? I'd gladly hear out any alternative. Then we set sail for the Shimmering Mists. Ford, would you know how to take us there if you wanted to? I know the general direction. It's somewhere southeast of here. We might be able to see the mist a ways out. I'll not have you scouring the seas for low flying clouds. As soon as the stars appear in the night, you will set sail and follow the constellation of the slain basilisk. If you stay the course, you will arrive at the mist in three days' time. Once we enter it, I will lead you to the temple, but it will be imperative you do exactly as I say. Very well. Are we provisioned for the journey? Assuming shipwrecks not in the cards, we should have plenty to get us to Ellen. Good. Once the sun sets behind Varroa, we'll raise the anchor. In the meanwhile, take some time to rest and repair. Only the gods know what lies ahead. I'll bet that damn rock does too. Well? Okay. Well, we've got almost 20k. We have our first tier 3... Our first tier 3 token. Also, hello, hello, Mortis. I'm doing pretty well. How are you doing, Mortis? Freaking Hawks! Freaking... I saw the hello message and I freaking... I never get things right in my head sometimes. How are you doing today, Hawks? Because things are going pretty alrighty here. Just doing some more Dark Deity shenanigans. Yeah, let's see what bonds we have here and whatnot. Yeah, let's do that. Come on, Butter, you gotta eat. We've got a big adventure ahead of us. Hey there, Sophia. Oh, hi, Caius. Feeding the ferret. Trying to. He won't eat. He hasn't eaten anything all day. I'm starting to get worried. What's that, you're, what's that you're giving him? These little salted beef squares. He usually loves them. Hmm, does he know any tricks? Oh, lots. Ask him to do one and try rewarding him with the food. All right, Butter, handstand, handstand. There you go. Who's a good boy? Wow, and he's eating again, just like that. Nice just like that. How do you know that would work? I used to have a pet of my own back in the day. Really? You never told uh -huh. me. Yep, a stray mutt. Wound up under the same awning one rainy night, and well, the rest was history. He used to do the same thing. Wouldn't eat unless I made him earn it. Well. Come to think of it, it's a wonder he survived the streets on his own for as long as he did. He might not have acted that way before. I think pets are like us in more ways than most admit. Haven't you ever enjoyed something more because it was a challenge to get? Yeah, but maybe he just didn't want to take your food in case you want you wanted to eat it. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past him. There's a sweet dog. What was his name? Marcus. Lost him just before I enlisted, unfortunately. Still miss him. Aww. Well, I'm sorry, Caius. That's hard. Oh well. There's an old dog. Left a pretty good second half of his life for a stray, too. Besides, I don't think I would have had the heart to leave him behind anyway. So I guess it all worked out in the end. Still, I'm not looking to put myself through that again anytime soon. Maybe I'll get my next dog when I'm 80. That way, in all likelihood, it'll outlive me. <laughs> Just wait till the next time you see a puppy. That'll change your mind. Knowing me, it probably will. I have an aunt that breeds dogs from time to time on the side. She has, like, agility dogs, and from time to time, she'll breed them. And, like, apparently her puppies there are always in high demand. But that also means that we get to stop by sometimes and see, like, newborn pups, and they're adorable. I have some photos of of me around some puppy litters because of, because of that, and it's hella adorable. But, yeah, um... And yeah, I'm just now noticing the text of freaking Guide Fieri. If only we had Guide Fieri here guiding us and whatnot. Sia, how are you? Why do you look so chipper today? Mm. Well, I did a little digging. Turns out I actually stayed at your parents' inn when I was younger once. Alrighty, congratulations. Don't be so un- don't be ungrateful. I'm here for a reason. I never doubted that. You're so clever. Listen, I liked your little town. It had much more charm than any of the other hamlets we visited. I would like to ask you more about it so that I can work it to ensure it stays as nice as it is when I hold the, pa hold the power of House Valburin. Are you, clever? you do know what's under the jurisdiction of, Valmy yeah, of the Valmyrans? Right. Yes, of course I know that. It doesn't leave me entirely powerless in the matter, though I wouldn't expect you to know such things. Very kind of you if I do say so myself. Yes, what do you think? <laughs> what do I think? I think I have no idea when you turned into the benevolent type. It's purely selfish, truly. I find value in my experience traveling to Duskwater as a child. And thus, I want to do the same for my children one day. 
Oh, shove off. Any other backwater dunghole town would serve the same purpose, and you know it. There's nothing special about Duskwater. I beg to differ. I would expect you to have more pride in where you come from. Not everyone comes from a place worthy of pride, Monroe. Of all the things it seems like you might understand, it's that. Well, you wouldn't want me to put in a good word. Of course I would want that. It's my home, and my parents run the biggest business in town. So then what is the fuss? I swear, your countryside women can't make up your minds worth a- Can't make up your minds worth half a What's coin. You're treading dangerous grounds here. Mm -hmm. One- th This is another support where it seems like the audio sounds for like the- Sounds that they make during supports is like swapped up again and whatnot. What? I thought it was funny. It's a joke. Explain. Yeah, the audio things are freaking mis- Mixed up with this. I'm leaving now. If you're being sincere and asking, we can talk about it another time. Alright, my apologies. Welp. But yeah. Um, the darkness from this game is getting to your harmony, make you think I'm Mortis? Yes, now taking your name Mortis. Doing great though, just slept like the entire day. <laughs> That's me a lot of days. I actually got up at like a semi-normal hour today. Like, I was gonna do some late night chilling with like a late night stream last night, but then I just got so tired and I passed the hell out. So I got up at like a decent time today. All right, Ma. Hello, Samara. Did you need something? Yes, teach me. <laughs> I'm afraid I'll have to ask you to be more specific. I want to learn to fight like you. Before I even saw you in the arena, just from the way people spoke of you, I always did. Now, I see you tense circles around your enemies with my own eyes. I want you to train me. I'm flattered, but I don't know that I have anything to critique. I've seen you fight with skill. I can't help and then it. you can see my abilities are nothing like yours. You Samara, your gifts lie in healing. I'm an adept. We must each walk the path set before us. I don't want to walk, I want to run. Uh. Your eagerness will serve you well. I was the same way in my youth, but it must be balanced with patience. This makes no sense. Patience. What am I waiting for exactly? Experience will translate to skill in time. And give me the experience I need. Mm. You wish to spar? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that seems wherever I go, the fight is inescapable. Perhaps it's my fate. I mean, only if it's not a burden, of course. No, no, not at all. I will honor your zeal. It's an inspiration to me. But we must begin cautiously. I don't want either of us to put... Th wait, either of us put out of commission for the next fight. Sure, I'm ready when you are. Then let's begin. All right, looks like Alden has a thing where Bob, we can get to A with Sophie here, or Sophia. I've, I was playing, before streaming this game here, we were playing some more Fire Emblem Fates, so I'm getting mixed up with that. Sophia, there was something I wanted to show you. Uh-oh, did Butter leave another present in your bedroll? <laughs> no, not this time, but I think I figured out how to summon one of those storm spirits well enough to show you what they look like. Ah, stay back, Butter. What are you worried about? I haven't even done anything yet. Um... Aren't these spirits you may just summon to attack people? Well, usually, yeah, but I can summon one that's completely harmless. Do you want me to show you? Well. Mm, all right, if you promise it's safe. I promise. Here goes. <gasps> A bunny! God, it's so cute! Alden, wow, how did you learn how to do that? By accident, actually. I tried to cast a spell, and I thought it missed. I fired and I missed, and then, uh, uh, then I looked over to see this little guy hopping around on the battlefield. <laughs> <laughs> that's incredible. You've got a real talent here, you know? You could put on a show or something. Yeah, it'll make a good party trick when this is all over. I bet it would. Aw, well, thanks for showing me that, Alden. I'm sorry I panicked for a second there. That was silly of me. I think this was just what I needed. It totally brightened my day. You deserve it. What you said to me before, about giving myself credit for my accomplishments, that did the same for me. It's nice to return the favor. You really should give yourself credit. Look what you just did. Hey, you think you can do it again? <laughs> Absolutely. Alright, so they've gotten to A. Nice, nice. What do we have here? Tell me what you know of Joyce. Oh, cute. I thought you didn't have time for a commoner harlots like myself. It's been eating at me for some time. I'm a slave to my own curiosity. Interesting. I wonder where that comes Explain. from. What did she say about me? I must know. What? First, you have to tell me why you need to hear it so badly. Is it textbook arrogance or genuine infatuation with Joyce? You're hardly giving me good options to pick from. I don't appreciate having words put in my mouth. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Maybe you should think about that before you do the same to other people. I'm not here for a lecture in ethics, Bianca. I'm here to learn what Joyce said, and nothing more. You still haven't answered why you care. Absurd. Black Abyss, fine. Want to know so blasted badly why I care? I love gossip, and I can't stand knowing people talk about me behind my back. You hear gossip? God, that explains so much. I want to appreciate you sharing that information. Now, tell me. Oh, this is too good. Alright, deal's a deal. <sighs> Joyce used to come by the shop all the time. She told me you hated her guts, and she didn't have the slightest clue why. It's ridiculous. We barely ever spoke. Why would I care about her one way or the other? Okay, she didn't say that. I was baiting you to get more information. Will you just tell me already? She said that she'd heard you were thinking of leaving Etlin for a while. Spread your wings a little bit. Did she? 
wonder who told her. I was far from open about it. And you did, didn't you? Naturally. That's why I was on Ford's ship in the first place, yes. Interesting. Looking at me like that. I don't think I will, Gossiper. Well, Samara has a couple things here. You know, you don't have to hover around me. I appreciate that you've helped me get through my queasiness with all this fighting, but I'm really alright now. Cute. Who said that's why I'm hovering around you? I guess no one did. You can't honestly enjoy talking about your hometown as much as you have, Definitely. though. No, I don't. But I told you a bunch of fake stories to get you to calm down. Now I'm telling you the real ones. But the Rolling Hills? Oh, they're nice, but Red Hill puts us to shame. Hard to keep a rivalry up with a town that dwarfs you in every capacity. Hmm. What a funny term, dwarfs. Sora seems mean, doesn't it? Never thought about it. Don't really understand how you look into things like that so often. Doesn't your head get clogged up? What do you mean? You're always asking me to questions about the uh, but blah, 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 but academic type stuff, like what like what I think of words. I don't think about words. I just I use them. I didn't realize I did that. Seems normal to me. I spent my whole life around academics. <laughs> no, I didn't mean it as a bad thing. I think it's impressive. I like your normal. Thank you. And we have one here. Sarah, does being out in the wild ever remind you of the Royal Gardens? All the time. <sighs> yeah, me too. I miss them. The gentle waterfalls, the emerald parakeets chirping away in the willows. I miss the quiet. <laughs> Samara, you hated the gardens. No. Sorry, Sarah, that would be incorrect. I hated not being allowed to leave the gardens. Hmm. Hmm. That never lasted very long anyway. Thanks to me. Mm. Yes, thanks to you. You were absolutely impossible. No, sneaking around unnoticed was impossible, supposedly. Which is exactly why I had to do it. I think you've proven my case. Sure? Let's not forget the part you played convincing Mother to secure some more freedom. It's my big sister, Hever the Diplomat. Half-sister. Maybe. That's clear we both inherited the stubborn half. Sure I prefer to say persistent. There's that dipl diplomacy again. Are you capable of giving it a rest when you talk to your sister? Forgive me, your half-sister. I think we both know the answer to that question. That's right, yes. You're more than capable. And here I'd almost forgotten. <sighs> Had you? What a pleasant thought. Do hang on to that dream. Sure will. Alrighty, Irving has a thing for Bob here with... Elias, interestingly enough, even though I haven't used him for like 3,000 years. Irving, when we enter that temple in the weld, you feel sick. I f it felt stifled. And I guess that's why we're having a support conversation. We must have built up enough support to have it unlocked, but just not until after that chapter. As if from the humid air. But there was something far more oppressive at the root of it. Yes, precisely. When that poison was released, I hardly noticed a change. I was already nauseous. I knew I couldn't have been the only one who felt it, but I had to be sure. And what do you make of it? Well, the guide is obvious source. Is the obvious source. Can you decipher anything about it? The closer I get to it, the stranger I felt. When I close my eyes around it, I think I see features of a face. But I can't be sure if I'm really seeing something, if it's just my imagination. And what does the face look like? Ancient, but young at the same time. Its eyes are closed, but it seems to be speaking. Does it appear human? Elvin? It's hard to say. Difficult to describe it all, really. I just see it. Ugh, for all we know, it really could be my imagination. Sure. Could be. I only hope our concerns about it stem from our imaginations. They can't entirely. At least, that's not a hypothesis that can coexist with the warnings your father gave us. No, you're right. But it's possible that the worst outcome has already been avoided. Let's hope that's the case. You have a gift for soul magic, Elias. Uh. So I've been told. That's a blessing that comes at a great price. I'm sure the gods will acquire it of you in time and again before the day is done. Then may I use it honorably, for the good of all. I trust that you will. Hmm. But yeah, like that support was built. Yeah, the what I was just saying. Indeedly do. So, our upgrades here. We have our first tier 3 token, which could always go to freaking Caius here, considering, you know, he's gonna freaking... That's gonna really up the accuracy. Because, I mean, he's already shredding things and whatnot. Hmm. Sure, I'm giving my first tier 3 token to, to Caius. You can get great sword. That would really up the weight, so we'll, like, chill there for a little while. So... Who needs tier 1s? Are the, is there anybody still that needs tier 1s? Here, take this tier 1. Take it. Take it. You can have it. Um, let's see here. Is there anybody that doesn't have a blue yet? Anybody not have a blue? I'll use my, uh, thing. Oh, that's really gonna increase the weight. But what you gonna do? Dwarven Warbo. Okay. Who's from the units that I use needs another blue? Hmm? In the units that I actually use here. Yeah, this is the area that I don't really use a whole lot. So, we can start building up some other things. Kai's doesn't really need to build up other things there. Um, 
I mean, we could always put some things into that for Sia in case we're, um... Sure. Sure, let's do that. Neat. For Iris, you already have, like, two things there. You already have two things. Um, we can get the firewall, because, uh, you know, that'll help against malware and stuff. Earthfall. Let's see here. This is accuracy always sucks. Sure, Mace. And then we have one more tier two. Is what we have. So, yeah, you have your two purples there. You have your poiple. We could always upgrade Monroe. This is what we could do. Yeah, maybe Monroe will be the play with that. This is what I'm kind of thinking. Sure. Force Implosion plus one. Cool. I could get some more upgrades. But freaking everything that's been told to me about chapter 15, from what I can gather from everything that people have told about me, is it's probably going to be one of those chapters where there's going to be like phantoms of... You know, your, uh, your units being used back at you. Because I've been told that apparently it's a, like a big worry thing and freaking the stronger you are, the stronger that gets there. So it's probably not too worth it to do like upgrades right now anyway. But like, that's what I can guess from what I've heard about chapter 15 is it's going to be like we're facing ourselves essentially. That's what I can guess. And that's going to be like the crazy trap. I really have freaking 21 hours in this, in this file here. Jeebus. Welp. I guess that's just because we're decking out like a full-on proper playthrough and not like bum rushing to the end. Probably a good thing to be taking. Taking one's time here and there. Well, that will- look Look how much freaking gold we have. So I can get plenty of upgrades if we want to. But next time- whoops, I just bumped my pop filter. Next time we'll be hopping into chapter 15. Got some good progress, this strim and a strim. And that will be where we wrap things up. I might be doing some more late night chilling later tonight with some other game, but... We shall see. Maybe some Tales of Asperia? I don't know. We'll see what happens. So thanks all who stopped by and hung out for these shenanigans. And I'm going to be heading out of here. So until next time, take care and see ya. Also, according to Steam, I apparently have 24 actual hours in the game because of the times that I freaking lost progress and whatnot. So, you know, there's that.